Let's solve one previous question of tree data structure. This question was asked in GATE CS 2023, question number 37. Consider the C function foo and the binary tree shown. So this is our binary tree and the C function is given when foo is called with a pointer to the root node of the given binary tree, what will it print? And four options are given. So initially P is pointing to 10. Let's read this function type tip struct node, then int value struct node pointer left pointer right, then end bracket node. So it's all about the tree structure. One value is given, it have one left child and one right child. Now from this foo function started int foo node pointer p. Initially p is pointing to root node, it's 10, then int read val. It's for return value in short form it's written read well. If p equals to null, return 0. Else read well equals to p value plus foo p left plus foo p right. Then print return value, return, return value. Then end bracket. So initially point o is pointing to 10. So we'll call foo 10. p is not null is pointing to some value so we'll execute the else part when we we'll call foo 10 return value will be p value is 10 plus foo p left p left is 5 p right is 11 so foo 5 plus foo 11 let's take a stack for tracking the function first function we call is foo 10 after this we'll call foo 5 and foo 11 Let's skip foo11 in stack and we'll call foo5. First function is foo5. So first we'll call foo5, then we'll call foo11. So for now we are keeping foo11 in stack and we'll call foo5. Now in foo5, p is pointing to 5. 5 is not null, so we'll execute the else part. Return value will be 5 plus foo3 plus foo8. It's left child and right child. Left child is 3, right child is 8. So we'll call two function foo3 and foo8. Let me store foo8 in stack. We'll call foo3. Now foo3, 3 is not equals to null. So we'll execute the else part. Return value will be p value. 3 have no left child. No left child means pointer is pointing to null. So it will return 0. For right child also, p equals to null and it will return 0. So, foo3 will return 3. Now, it will print 3. Next, we will call foo8. For foo8, p not equals to null. So, we will execute the else part. Return value will be 8 plus foo left child plus foo right child. It have no left child and right child. So, it will be 0. So 8 plus 0 plus 0, it's 8. Return value equals to 8. It will print 8. Now we got foo 3 value and foo 8 value. Now we we'll substitute here. So in foo 5, 5 plus 3 plus 8 is 16. So for foo 5, its return value is 16. Now print 16. Next, we'll call foo11. For foo11, it don't have any left child. So, 11 plus 0 plus foo13. Now, push function 13 into this stack. Now, we'll call foo13. 13. 13 is not equal to null. So, return value will be p value. 13 plus it have no left child and right child. So, 13 plus 0 plus 0. Return value is 13. It will print 13. Next is foo11. We got the foo13 value. Just substitute in place of foo11. 11 plus 13. It will be 24. We got return value as 24. Now print 24. Then we will execute foo10. We got foo5 value and foo11 value. Foo5 value is 16. Foo11 value is 24. So 10 plus 16 plus 24, return value is 50. Now it will print 50. 
so first we'll call the function foo 10 after this we call foo 5 then foo 3 then foo 8 then foo 5 then foo 11 foo 13 then foo 11 then foo 10 now check the print value first it will print 3 then it will print 8 then 16 then it will print 13 then it will print 24 then it will print 50 now check in which option it's present it's present in option c 3 8 16 13 24 50 so answer will be option c just maintain the stack how we are calling the function it will be easy I already discussed tree just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you